Good morning, everyone. My name is Utoxin, and welcome to a little mini factorial tutorial. Um, I've been playing a lot on my own, and I've been kind of building up like a train based base here where I've got. I'm playing in a rail world, basically. So I've got all these trains, and I wanted a system that would let my trains know whether or not a station was ready for uh, pickup, whether it had a full load. And with 0 0.15, you can now control the train stop itself to disable the stop so that trains will not route to it. Um, you can see here on the map, this stop is red, which means it is disabled. Um, and that is because there is no ore in the chests. Um, and once there's enough ore in the chests, this stop will enable. Um, and let me show you how all that works. There's a couple little gotchas that I ran into. Um, so the first step is we wire up all of our input chests, um, and I used red wire for the input chest signal. So they're all wired up, and they all come up these power poles along here, and the red signal comes into this decider combinator. And I'm running 242 trains, which means they can carry 8,000 ore per load. Um, and so I check whether there is, and actually we can have this be greater than or equal to, that's a slight change, but you check for the type of ore in your chests, and you check to make sure there's at least a full load, and if there is, then I just output the ore signal itself. Um, it works for what I need. You could output whatever signal you wanted here as long as it was a true signal. So then that outputs... Um, I think I also used red wire for this. Red wire inputs into this arithmetic combinator, which uses it there. Now it's also using this red signal, and that comes from this green wire, which runs all the way back out here. And the green wire is hooked up to the, the rail signal that controls entry to the stop. So the signal that will indicate if there's a train in here. So if this is red, there's a train. So we come back down to the end and we look, then this is taking an ore of, you know, is there enough is there enough stuff here for a load? Is there enough copper here for a load? Or is there a train already here? If there is, I output signal S, which I use because signal. So, you know, that, that's for the, or stop. That's, that's the signal for the train stop. So that gets passed through a green wire up to here. Um, into the train stop, and the train stop is set to enable or disable, and it will enable if S is greater than zero. And S is just one if, if the arithmetic combinator is, if either of these is on, S becomes one, which enables the train stop. Uh, so yeah, if we then go back to the arithmetic combinator, the reason I do this or is if a stop becomes disabled while a train is at the stop, the train will immediately leave. And so if you had, say, 8,001 copper ore, and a train showed up and started loading, there would immediately be less copper ore than a full load, the stop would get disabled, and the train would leave without a full load. So what we do is we check if there's a train in the station, the stop is allowed to stay enabled. As soon as the train leaves, if there's not enough copper ore, the, out, the S signal gets turned off, which then disables the station. So it's worked pretty well for me so far, um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, yeah, I hadn't seen anything like it before. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or like suggestions for other circuits that you might like to see, leave them in the comments. And for now, I will see you later.